What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Today we're going to be doing an open cup, but it's going to be kind of a Valentine's Day open cup. All these colors were mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And in the red magenta and this titanium white that I did not use as the base coat, there's one drop of OGX coconut milk hair serum in it. And with that, we're just going to start getting our pour going. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm having a great day. Just over here painting. Trying to spread a little bit of happiness. Now, the red is considerably thicker than I wanted it to be, but I didn't want to thin it out too, too much. I already have some really cool stuff going on in there. All right. Well, now, now what I'm hoping is that this heart shape at least kind of stays. Now, I know that using oil is going to create cells, which is going to kind of undermine the heart shape a little bit. But I still think you should see the lines and the waves of different colors still maintaining that heart shape. And I mean, so far, I'm seeing a heart shape. All right. So where in the world are you watching this video from? Super curious. I do want you to know that those 3D printed cups, the plans, I had to remove them. My patent attorney advised me to take them down to stop people from possibly trying to get a patent first. And hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to have them mass produced and at a reasonable price for everybody to Get one if you want one. Yeah, the heart shape is, eh, I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. It's not, it's not making it a complete heart. I still feel like this is a good Valentine's Day inspired pour. Still seeing the little rounds as if the the heart is still there. So we'll see. Once we apply heat and we see the separation of the colors, then we'll know. Maybe thicker bands. That's probably a, a good idea. Let's see. Let's just do one really thick band of each color. And release it. Release it. All right, now we'll do red. Just a nice thick band of red. We're going to do a thin band of white compared to the other ones. And that does have the shape of it. Now I use the white because now I'm going to use this magenta here. And I want to make sure that the contrast between the there's contrast between the red and the white, not the, the red and magenta. Should help. It, has, it does have kind of a, a look to it, like a heart. Let me add a little bit of this, kind of stop it from rolling under so much. All right. 
And now we can afford some thinner colors, or thinner layers, because we're getting up towards the very end. Pretty looking, really pretty looking. All right, so before we remove it, I'm gonna apply some heat. Kind of curious just to see what's gonna happen. Not a whole lot. I only used one drop of the oil, so we might not get too, too many cells, which might work in our favor. All right, so let's continue this part. I'm gonna try to swipe this into a heart shape. Not exactly perfect, but close. All right, let's center our little heart and then I think we're ready to spin it yeah before we spin it let me get this stick to stop it just a nice light spin we have plenty of paint on the surface plenty Oh, it does have a heart shape to it. That's cool. I like that. All right. Let me touch up some of these corners. And then we're going to get you guys down here to check it out. But I need to touch up two of these. I'm very happy with this one. Because we still do have overall a decent little heart shape. And then we got this really cool, delicate lacing going on. Almost like a spider web, but it's really cool. So let's see how it dries. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.